Hello everyone. Okay, we're at CES 2024 at the Venetian Conference Hall. Um, as you know, CES is all about technology, but I'm mainly here for 3D printing. And so if you ever wondered um, the, what it's like to, to check out the 3D printing space here, it's really just over here. There's about 10 exhibits concentrated here, and then a couple of others like dotted around the conference hall, such as like Opti Forge, I found tucked away down the stairs. Oh, and I should also mention uh, there's some CNC here that's also included in the, the 10 exhibits around here. So it, it, it's not ma not very many, and it's, it's kind of small, but doesn't mean there's not quality. Uh, so let's just take a quick gander. Uh, oh, and also, uh, that being said, there's also lots of exhibits that use 3D printers in their products. So they actually are not a 3D printing exhibit, but they'll have a 3D printed off to the side, or sometimes they'll just have 3D printed products. Um, there was a, for instance, a robot barista that made this coffee for me, and it w was composed of uh, some parts, like the grippers, 3D printed parts. So that's just a pretty cool. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna take the camera and we're gonna wander around and see what there is to see at CES for well CNC right here and then 3D printing. This is the very cool desktop CNC machine. It's a tool changer. And oh, we'll go around this way. And here we have Coast Runner which is another CNC uh, desktop, if you guys don't mind. <laughs> okay. And then over here, I was just talking to these guys at CoPrint. Uh, you might be pretty familiar with them. They produce clipper, they clipperize your printers and make it multi-material. And then we have this, uh, the GoFu from uh, Examine GoFu, which I haven't heard of before, but they have a range of 3D printers, huge 3D printers that you can print peak, apparently. They also have very cute printers over here. And then over here we have a 3D uh, pen um, exhibit. And then of course there's big form labs over here showcasing all their various resin materials. And they're amazing and also very expensive uh, 3D printers. That looks awesome by the way. And again, the 3D pens. I am not an expert of this, but that is pretty cool that they can produce. What? Like, look, it's a handbag. That's pretty impressive. And then we have Kokani here, which I don't know how the, well their Kickstarter's gone, but um, you guys can leave a comment if, it's, if you've got your printers. Um, this is operational, and it looks like it's, it runs very fast, as you can see. That's pretty cool. I don't know about the multi-material. And then, of course, finally, we have Creality here. Um, with their machines, and I would just like to showcase this printer over here, which uh, is not an IDEX, but a dual extruder, and I'm really impressed with the quality on this. Look at that, that's pretty good. I did not hear of the Sermoon D3 Pro till now, and the very popular K1 series that people are crowding around here. When compared to my Bamboo Lab, I really like the quality the build quality it looks looks really great, and then there's the new Ender D3 running off, and we also have Next Luxury. I haven't heard of these guys before, but they're they specialize in resin printing. And finally, over here we have Creality's uh, laser engraver, and this is their enclosure. And I love th this enclosure; it looks great. Um, of course, I have an Elegoo version of this. We'll see how that compares. And that's pretty much it. That's what you can expect at CES in terms of 3D printing and the various booths and vendors. There you go.